We haven't really done so many of these, so I'm trying to figure out. That. She can't even hear you. Out there. <laughs> Everything we've done is different. So this is a different. Yeah, for us. we're 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 learning. We're not very technologically proficient people. Oh, okay. You know, I try to be, but then like, uh, you know, everything works until like it's time to do something for real. And then it just like everything falls apart and I start running around the room and it's just a disaster. You know, <laughs> yeah, definitely, here, so. definitely still a product of the 90s. I like things the old fashioned way. Yeah. Yes. How y'all doing? Good. Yeah, yeah not too good. shabby. Super bored. I was like, it's kind of cool, too, because when we were watching it, we live on 14th and Peachtree. So we're at our home studio right now, too. So we literally could see where you guys were like, wait, that, I can see it from my bedroom. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my office is right there, too. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Is it, um, what is it like for you guys? Like, because I'm sure you're getting to, you know, be noticed now when you're just walking around trying to go like to Whole Foods or something. Like, what's that like? kind of weird i mean people stop us every once in a while but we haven't really been going out it's, obviously it's, yeah it's so. a lot it's much quieter now than it was the show first came out and things were getting really crazy and then the rona happened exactly. yeah the, it's gotten real quiet again which yeah. i kind of like because <laughs> i i was noticing you guys now that you're able to post your pictures and everything and like hanging out at the barbecue fest like at atlantic station oh, i'm like yeah. we were all probably hanging out not even knowing like each other or anything yeah. so that was like right when the show came out so we wore hats and like sunglasses trying to just like not give away the <laughs> married we or thought we were together. incognito and we people thought. were like taking pictures about it. yeah it oh like, no it was, it was dude i I um and I said this on the air this morning too. It's like um you know I, I never tell people to watch reality TV. I don't know. Like she always gets me to watch The Bachelor or whatever. I got sucked into this like episode one. Oh, I yeah. kid you not. And then and you you <laughs> Barnett. Yeah, like dude. So so it's weird. You know the thing about you is is that I you almost ended and I don't know. This could just be me, but you almost ended the show a different person than when you were going into the pods because going into the pods right out the gate. I was thinking, oh, here's the loud dude. He's the guy that has everything figured out. Like, I, I don't know. I just had a different perspective, a different idea of you in the pods than when the show started progressing and y'all were down in, in, in Mexico. And then when you were back, you were more of a quiet kind of guy. That's really who I am. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm not very like out, like I'm outgoing if I have a couple drinks, but uh, <laughs> yeah. generally I'm not very outgoing and I, I'm kind of to myself. So like you can you can pretty much ask anybody I work with or anybody that you know knows me. He's an on <laughs> goodness Georgia so. Tech nerd. Oh he yeah, know how to talk to girls, which is so ironic <laughs> that on the show he was the player. Exactly. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> I was I was in a weird element, I guess. So. <laughs> But you know what? That's what I loved about the show. It felt so authentic and it felt like you were growing with the couples and the individual people. And I don't know, is, was that, you guys have obviously been through it. Were you, when you were watching it, what was it like for y'all? Was there the producers kind of trying to influence stuff or was it honestly just y'all? I don't know, like 75, 25. Like, I feel like a lot of it was us, but a lot of it was, you know, we were talking about things that, you know, we, we had had conversations about, you know, like serious stuff. And then, like they they would ask us, you know, what about this? And then we'd start having a conversation about that. So like, you know, context was uh, manipulated a yeah, bit sometimes, uh, sometimes. in some, in some conversations, uh, looking back at it, they would ask us weird questions when they would interview us or like, you know, get us to talk about something. And yeah. why, why do we have to talk about this? <laughs> we answered like, this. Well, over. you know, they yeah. asked it a million different ways until they got, okay. What they were, they could use no. yes. no. things got misconstrued uh one thing that you know really honestly it really bothered me that it was taken out of context is the serious moment that we were having um about finances and stuff at matt's house yeah yes it yeah wasn't about finance like we talked about finances but all of the reactions and the emotions were actually about something totally different yeah. um oh. that Matt had made a terrible offhanded comment about what if we can't have kids and uh, yeah. we had such a genuine moment right there about what it would be like for us, for, for me personally to struggle having kids and, you know, my own feelings about that. And it was a serious moment and it was taken out of context and that really hurt my feelings that they made yeah. it about finances. But I see from the theatrical standpoint, why talking about finances made a difference in the show. You I get it. Of course. I get it. Doesn't mean it didn't hurt my feelings. 
But I feel like the moment you guys were having was really authentic too. Like I'm surprised they didn't go with that because again, this show to me, you know, obviously you want to make good TV, but it just felt so different than what's on than what we've seen in the past. It's almost like it was three different shows all bundled up in one. It was like the pods. I was listening to you guys, by the way. Oh. Oh. That's why Matt was looking down really awkwardly. <laughs> what do you oh, he's, well, here's, Coda, here's. meet Kiki. He's going to have to back her butt up here. Come here, Coda. Uh, no, she's she's going to knock the whole thing <laughs> we can't, she, She's very large. We can't just lift her oh. up like that. <laughs> I have y'all, um, have y'all got, are your friends now, do they, are they buying into it that it's real? Because I'm sure it wasn't easy to convince people. Um, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> dude, honestly, for the past year and a half before the show came out, all of our friends knew, like yeah. our lives were blended. Everybody knew, like they knew. It yeah. Was cool. So I know a lot of my friends are just like, I'm not watching the show. I already know the truth. I know how it happened. So I know my friends believed my uh, my truth versus the TV truth. Yeah. 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 They're missing out because it's so different. Yeah. And, yeah. All my friends wanted to watch me make a fool out of myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was yeah, it you, you yeah, was more like Barnett? Why do they think you're a player? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I love your right. shirts too, man. And even the one you got on right now, you got best tasty shirts. Oh, uh, I think this was TJ Maxx. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> PK has a, he has the whole Target tar collection of like wild shirts. <laughs> yes, he's I been practicing it. his dad clothes for years before. I mean, he loves the the, uh, the Hawaiian dad shirt button down. I just don't have the the white uh, the oh white gosh. New Balances. I just wish. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. he started wearing them with socks. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's something y'all wish you would have asked in the pods? Hmm, that's a really good question. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had known in the pods that Taco Bell was your favorite restaurant. That yeah. wait, you said what? That might Taco Bell is his favorite restaurant. That might have changed my whole mind about him. Yes, <laughs> PKs too. <laughs> like before, like the company that I worked at before, or when I was on the show, like uh, they were right next to Taco Bell, and so like four out of five days of the week, I'd be Taco Ooh. Bell for lunch, and I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah. I can't help myself. I can't. Oh she, my gosh. She hates it. So. What? Yeah, Why can you hate Taco Bell? Yeah, I like soda. I tell him if he goes there, just give me a soda. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, no. The I, one that's on Spring Street, uh, you can like customize it now too. Like they have the machines and yeah. Oh, there, was a, there was the like, time ever. I had the manager's phone <laughs> number. I just call ahead be like, yo, get, get the sack ready, bro. Because I walk <laughs> out of there with a grocery bag. That's the best. Well, gotta think, love being a regular. I think most people probably only spend like Five or six dollars at Taco Bell. I'm spending like fifteen, twenty dollars when I go. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. Twenty to twenty-five. Twenty to twenty-five. I come home and she always yells at me. She's like, "We don't need all this. Why you get all this?" One time, right? I only did this mistake one time. I forgot to get the fire sauce, and then she, oh man, it was like the end of the world. Oh yeah, I like I like, I like the Diablo for the heat, and then the mild for just like the flavor. And I mix them. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. They were just talking about Taco Bell. For <laughs> So what's so like you would have probably have talked about that. Is there anything else that you guys are finding out now living together that you wish that didn't seem important that now it's. I didn't know I snored as bad as I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, no. Oh, I don't. I can't say how many times did I? I'm like, babe, roll over. Get on your side. You're snoring. You're snoring. Well, you're also, snoring. she snores. So that's cool. <laughs> I, 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 I can just like time, gently roll her. She doesn't wake up. So you she, snore so loud. So loud. So he got me a pair of noise canceling headphones, so I don't. It's kind of bulky, like these to wear, like in bed. But it you have helps. to, man. <laughs> I started having to like play like rain sounds at night, and I yeah. did yeah. that volume to try to drown him out, and it still doesn't work. Oh no! <laughs> I'm terrible sleep since we've been married, and honestly, I'm tempted that when we move to have a second bedroom just for me to sleep in some. Uh oh, <laughs> it's fair. so hard. That's fair. Yeah one sip of alcohol at all like i'm yeah freaking wait so are you in your house or what what house is it? it's so uh, weird because like we've know so much about your life now i just feel like creepos so we moved into my apartment after the show so uh we were in matt's house for a couple of months and it just 
didn't really work for us. It's it, and- me especially. It was so far from the city. It was in Canton. And yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. Middle of yeah. nowhere. They didn't even have a Waffle House out there. You know? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a Waffle House. <laughs> Two exits like, away. No, they have like three Waffle Houses. Babe, I was getting off work at two or three in the morning, and I was looking for a Waffle House to get food, and there was none around. I kept. Anywho. <laughs> yeah. It was not fun, and it was so quiet. So we moved into, yeah. we still had um, my apartment at the Brave Stadium. which is, Oh, cool. Yeah. That wasn't actually mentioned on there. So I said I was homeless because I was living with a friend illegally. Oh, so I was okay. like, I wasn't on the lease, but I was paying rent, so I couldn't really mention that and yeah I film there so i was like we'll just say i'm homeless whatever yeah. Did it, yeah i didn't know that was gonna be such a big deal of course yes yeah, so uh, you're like perfect top of the line like we're running with this story so good in debt homeless, <laughs> homeless. Uh, just wants to be taken care of like, yeah and have kids and that's all oh, jeez that's, that's my life goal <laughs> um anywho so the lease came due on the apartment to re-up and i was like well i could be on the lease this time what do you want to do because Matt wasn't really happy in the house he was at either. It was really far from work, and this was just so much closer. And yeah. he got the house for his ex girlfriend. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been through that too. Yeah. I had a house, and oh. then when we got married, she's like, "Oh yeah, we need a house that we can both choose." <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like just be happy we got a house. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a bonfire. And we're gonna burn that mattress at some burn point. It's in storage right now. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, she got rid of the ex's cat. The cat, yeah. We gave away the cat. Caller yeah. 96 got the cat. Oh. Really? Nice. Then we got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Anywho, she like picked out the location and stuff. So I was like, all right, let's 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 find a place that suits us. And living yeah. in the battery yeah. is a lot better for both of us. Because it's yeah. awesome. There's the concerts the and yeah, he loves baseball. And I'm, I'm a, I can watch baseball. Yeah. I tried to explain baseball to her. And she's like, she can only take like three things. Yeah, it was like, one bit of information at a time. Like, like he, what's the yeah. double play? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want to answer. And he tries to answer everything. I'm like, okay, you're overloading me. That's not going to. Yeah, it's just that. not going to retain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I forgot the original question. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he came yeah. to it, ended up moving into my apartment with me because it just, it just worked out better. Yeah. Did um, when you guys were filming, especially in the apartment uh, down the street here, like were the produ- were the film crew like always there? I feel like how do you wake up and you just have some dude there? Are they sleeping on the couch? How did they get all that? There was a second bedroom. <laughs> no, they usually left their stuff set up in the apartment, um, and they would give us like a schedule. Like we're gonna be here at seven o'clock in the morning, and we're filming this. And I'm like, okay, cool. But they're like, don't get ready though. We want to film you waking up. And I'm oh. like, uh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, like, we get up, wake up. Yeah, yeah. They get up, wake up, make us go back to bed to wake up again. And they don't even use any of the footage. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I real. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was working every day when, yeah. when we were filming there. So I would get home at, like, 6 or 7 o'clock at night and then film until, like, 11 o'clock. And just be like, oh, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. We, we noticed on all of like your Uber Eats or whatever you guys were using, DoorDash, like Da Vinci's Pizza or Pita Down. Like those are all of our restaurants yeah. too. Yeah. Like, yeah. It just felt- Honestly, I'm not a fan of Da Vinci's. I had too much of it and it was never like the best. <laughs> yeah. It's the only but thing that's sorry, late. <laughs> <laughs> there goes that endorsement deal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it was because we were always having to wait to eat so long. It was always cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you guys watch the show together afterwards? And, um, or was there like moments that you were like, no, we don't want to ever go back? Uh, yeah, what's that like? So when the first five episodes came out on Netflix, we like woke up at five in the morning to watch it. Watched the first episode and I was like, eh, I don't want to stick around. <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> so I went to work yeah. and then came home and found out she watched the rest and she was not yeah, oh, I, I could bet. imagine. Yeah. That so, was a fun day. We decided pretty much not to watch them all together. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the, my, them together, but uh, it, it, yeah. it did not. Mm, I figured it was best for me to watch it and then take it in and then assess before yep. we went back to it and talked about it because had he been there, I would have lost my shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think it was your fault, though. But, like, you know? But, no, I mean, I, 
Initially, so, she did. Okay, honest. She thought I wasn't telling her everything. No, yeah, uh, honesty policy. I was like, dude, what the hell? Why didn't you tell me Jessica was doing this behind my back? He goes, I didn't realize it. I'm like, how do you not realize? He goes, I'm an idiot. Guys are dumb. And I'm like, that's fair. That makes sense. Well, my Guys last conversation with Jessica, like, in the pods was, like, we were going to be friends. Like, we, were, we had a built a friendship so yeah. was, let's just be friends and so every conversation we had after that i was like oh we're friends like that's my mind like we're friends She's girls just, are not thinking friends not at all <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not smart yes i'm not smart i'm not it does, yeah. I mean, you came away looking like a hero. <laughs> like the one guy that was so, what's the dude's name? Mark? And, yeah, like, Aww. oh, that poor dude. <laughs> yeah. I felt so bad to be watching this because Mark and I were friends at the time. And as far as Mark knew, as far as anybody knew, the only hang up Jessica had was about the age difference. So yeah. I had conversations with Mark and we would talk about it. I'm like, dude, I understand. Like, if you love her, you got to fight for something. But there's a line where it's fighting for something and forcing it. Mm -hmm. And you just need to figure out where your line is at and stand by it. So like Mark and I had real conversations about, you know, him standing his ground when, if it's going to be worth it, if you have to spend the rest of your life convincing somebody to love you. Yeah. And I'm like, I was telling him like, give it everything you've got. And I'm like, I feel like an asshole for telling him like to keep going for it. You know, (laughs) I was trying to give good advice. I wish I had done. I've been like, dude, nah, cut it off. You're (laughs) you're wasting your time, friend. I I felt, Um, I felt your, that every once in a while, like when you get into an argument or a fight with somebody and then you're just like in that moment, you're yelling at them. But I felt like I was there when you were going off on the reunion show. When, <laughs> but, you, but you kept it together. You did it like in a classy way, but you still did it. You know, respect. That was so hard. And that was honestly only thanks oh, to gosh. Matt. Yeah. <laughs> but you had Matt. to say it. You had to say it. It was just like, you, had to you say know. Something. You had to say something. Yeah. We, it was like what? It was like two days after we saw it that, we, got, just, that we filmed the reunion. Yeah. So we didn't have any clue. And it just like was right on our, on our mind. Yeah. The like, forefront of my mind. I had just learned that. I was still, it was still very fresh. And yeah. uh, I was still not happy because I felt like I got played. Yeah. I was betrayed. I felt lied to. I felt like an asshole because I thought we were friends. And, you know, I talked to Mark about her. And, like, I, again, I was giving Mark bad advice. I was giving her bad Ouch. She was there when I was trying on my wedding dress and vice versa. They didn't I, yeah. She was trying to give her advice when she was trying on her wedding dress, telling her how beautiful she looked and blah, blah, blah. And all yeah. of them, she's imagining her wedding with my fiance. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, did you- yes, it was. <laughs> Uh, it had been a year and a half. If you were really sorry or you had really regretted what you had done, you could have came to me in a year and a half and forewarned me. Yeah. I'm being surprised by things that I don't know. I like having yeah. all the information so I can make my own choices. And yeah. I feel like those choices were taken away from me when she started lying to my face and when she didn't give me the opportunity over that year and a half to be like, okay, I'm prepared for this to come out now. I won't be blindsided by it. Thank you for apologizing. That didn't happen. Oh, yeah. so that's that unfortunate. Never happened. She has my phone number. She had my social media. We are all yeah. in a chat. She knew how to get in contact with me. She and she does not. not. Yep. Yeah, it, it is bad as I feel for you. No offense. Poor, poor Mark. Like, I'm just <laughs> like, you know. Right? He, yeah. Never. You guys still keep in contact at all with Mark or anybody? Yeah, anyone else? Mm-hmm. Yes and no. Like we we chat every here and there when we get the chance on the group chat. But I think the last time we talked to Mark was when the show first came out. We all me yeah, and right, right met. before the reunion. We, like, yeah, we called him because we didn't know any of that stuff was going on. We were like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we all get along great, but we didn't know. So like we took a we took time to talk. And usually because of where we live, when people come to the battery to to, to, to some of the bars or stuff, they'll come and hang yeah. out with us. And we're like, okay, cool. We'll see you in a sec. But. Uh, I don't know, life, life before quarantine was pretty right. busy, so it was really hard to keep up with everybody. She's also got a friend group that expands all of Georgia, so, <laughs> yeah. so, like, <laughs> so we're yeah. trying to like hang out with all her friends and all my friends and people from the show, and it's just, it's very busy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot, yeah. Well, I'm sure that now, you guys, you know, the last three weeks being quarantined, then maybe it is a good thing, you know? You know we miss it. <laughs> I miss it. I miss people or being, well, being your friends and stuff, so. Yeah. Is she always is she always so calm and collected? Like because I feel like you you know you always take a breath before getting aggravated. You're very kind of chill. You know. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I try to be rational, but uh, sometimes, you know, I can get heated. Yeah. I get stubborn. I get stubborn and I, I don't know. Yeah. I think we both get irritated easily and we both have tempers. So like, yeah. You can take turns and who the jerk is for a day sometimes. (laughs) See, that's good. Like again, we've been, we've been married 10 years and do the morning show together and obviously live together and stuff. So I think that, yeah, when you say taking turns or, you know, we just have to be very understanding with things because it's not always rainbows over here. Like uh, real world. Hello. (laughs) I mean, I just come to the understanding that, uh, no offense, women just go crazy, oh. and then they get over it, and we're good. <laughs> Give them a day, and they're good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but sometimes that is the case. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? It is, but you can't ever say that out loud. Oh, and there no. you go. You'll exactly. never admit it, like, no. during, during the... No. Like, oh, you know, during... Like, not. Like, it's not my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> and I'm like, what can I do to fix it? And she's like, leave me alone. I'm like, okay. You know that? I can not see it. Is there, is there any, um, uh, like, uh, nothing serious, but any kind of, like, uh, dumb habits that either of you have uh, uh, that you know that you learned about, about it, like, when you moved in, that you're just like, ah, oh, really, put the dishes away? Or, like, is there that one thing that annoys you? Um... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm just like thinking. Like, I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking. <laughs> like, something that you haven't told me yet? Something that annoys me in general is just like when we do get into arguments, and it's kind of my, it's usually my fault because I'm the one pushing buttons. And uh, she likes to, she likes to leave. <laughs> and I hate oh. that. Because he won't leave me alone. Like, I need space. I like to fix things mad. right away, and she doesn't like being fixed right away. Or yeah. not being fixed, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fix you. I need to be fixed now. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so frustrating. So yeah, I'll walk away or I'll leave. I need space. Yeah. I, that that's a new thing for me because I've never done that before. Like that's that's new. When I would get mad before, I'd be like, just shut up, stop, and well, like up, separate so. <laughs> for a second. But Matt won't give yeah. me that time, so I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna leave then. He. It was one night. Oh my gosh. There was one night we had gone out and we were having like, we were bickering in the Uber on the way home and he thought he was drunk and he thought I was mad at him. And I'm like, I wasn't mad. Like it wasn't a fight. It wasn't a real argument. We were just like butting heads. And I woke up the next morning. I couldn't find my keys anywhere. In his drunk mind, he thought I was going to try to drive that night. So he took my keys and he hid them in the apartment somewhere. It took us a full day to find my keys because he couldn't remember where he was. Oh, them. no. <laughs> Dude, solid move. That's how you know he's a great guy. He cares, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I thought it. I was like, yeah. you don't need to drive. You need to, you know, hang out oh, here. Oh, God. Hang out with me until we fix it. <laughs> I was so confused. And I was like, hey, did you? Put my keys somewhere oh last night. He's been in like in the top, like behind, like yeah, in the top he, cabinet in the kitchen, he, like the, the back behind all the cups. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's awesome. I <laughs> love that. For her, she has to get a, like a step ladder to get up. <laughs> oh them. wow! I do that too. When I'm drunk, I hide things, and like uh, I'm, I'm not as bad anymore. But like in the beginning, like we'd have to move in order to find stuff. I'm like, I have no idea where I put things. You know. Struggle, I like, I like stealing fire extinguishers. Oh, <laughs> anything that's not put down or nailed down when he's drunk, he likes to just pick stuff up and try to take yeah. it. What, yeah. What, yeah. We were saying at the apartments uh, the, on the show, like, we came back from, like, my birthday party or something. I don't remember what we were doing. But we came back and, like, woke up the next morning and, like, walked out into the hall, and there was a stack of fire extinguishers in the center <laughs> of the hall. <laughs> like, I saw everyone from the floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Like, what is that? And like, I left and I came back and I saw it again and it like clicked in my brain. And I'm like, oh my God, Matt was stealing the fire extinguisher and like collecting them and just running down the hallway like a little kid giggling. And I'm like, that's at the time, I was like, that's gonna be my, that's my fiance. Like, oh my yeah. God, it's gonna be my husband. Cool. And since oh, we have moved here, he's tried to steal um, chairs stole, several times. Yeah, I actually stole a chair from down there. Oh, yeah. Huge leather chair. And I was, oh, I was this so, is my chair. Yeah. <laughs> night and I was trying to take care of him and we were getting in the elevator he goes I'm too tired to stand up so he grabs this this huge leather chair and he drags it into the elevator I'm like all right Uh, ride the chair in the elevator 
And he's right on this chair at the elevator. I'm like, okay, leave the chair. And he's like, no, this is my chair. Now. I don't want this chair. This is my new chair. And I'm like, oh, yes. my God. Like, you can't the, take the, the chair. You're going to get us kicked out. He goes, this is my king's chair. This is my, chair. <laughs> my throne. Oh, my God. That did that at the, we were uh, at the W Hotel. I uh, was in San Francisco. Yeah, I, think so. I did the exact same thing, bro. Anytime I stay at a, a, an expensive hotel, I only really do it at expensive hotels because I feel like they're ripping me off. So I'm going to rip them off. <laughs> oh so God. like I always try to take some. So this uh, again, wasted just like you guys. And there was like this vase that was, I don't know. That like, was us. <laughs> so I shimmy it. I don't know how I didn't get kicked out that night or arrested because you know they have cameras. So I shimmy it into the elevator. I shimmy it to the room. I don't remember any of this until the morning. I wake up and there's a big ass vase next to it. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I feel you on that. <laughs> I feel you on that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's always fun. Haven't been through this and successfully been through this, but then you also know what it took and you know how easily things could have gone wrong. You know, um, do you recommend that people go onto the show? Like, would you yourself, knowing what you know now? As far as the character, the people that go on there, you really have a strong, you have to have a strong constitution and know who you are. Because yeah. I don't think anybody is ever feels like they're accurately represented on a reality TV show. Mm -hmm. So you really have to have a strong constitution, thing one and thing two. I mean, if you know who you are and you know what you want in your life, you have to be, I mean very decisive about what it is you want. Otherwise you're just yeah. getting lost in the process. So I don't see why not like go for it. Who wouldn't want to take a shot at love and see what happens? Yeah. Like when if, any, if anything, like, you know, it was a fun experience. I would do it again just for the experience for sure. But you know, I, I'm afraid that like, I know they just read re up for another season or two seasons on Netflix. I'm afraid that like the people that are going to try to, be on the show or not genuine or not going to be genuine. Yeah. They're going to do it yeah. for the wrong reason or social media fame now. Yeah. Like, either of us knew kind of what this was going to turn into. And yeah. So it's, yeah. it's kind of like, I'm afraid people are going to go on it thinking, you know, like they're looking for bachelor's level status and stuff. And anyway, what? I'm going to be honest. They, they I, need I to be genuine. Whoever's on the next season. Seems yeah. To be people, they can't, they can't be there for the fame. That's for sure. Yeah. I oh. didn't expect to get married. Neither of us really expected to get married. We didn't go into this thinking, oh, I'm going to find my husband or my wife. I just was like, well, you never really turn down an opportunity to maybe find love. Because right. You never know. Yeah. Regrets. I don't like having regrets. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, well, it's a free vacation. I'm stuck at home anyways. Why not? Why not? Yeah. yeah. What was it like? How scared? How honestly scared were y'all uh, when you were about to see each other for the first time? And what was that really like? Not necessarily what they showed, but what was going through your head? Like. I would, I would be terrified. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, me, I wasn't like, I kind of like, wasn't worried about what she looked like. I was more worried about what she, like, she wouldn't like leave when she saw me. Cause I didn't really know how oh, she. Oh, you liar. No, I really scared. was. I was gonna be ugly too. I was a little, but I wasn't <laughs> like, I wasn't like, I wasn't like, I was more worried about what you thought of me. Were you not allowed to ask what y'all look like in the pods? We could. There was nothing that was off limits. It just, yeah. you know. It felt wrong. It felt against. It felt like it defeated the purpose. So, like, there were some people that were like, you know, how would you describe yourself? And like, celebrity wise, like, who do you think you look like? Yeah. And at one point, I think somebody mentioned that they had asked him something like that, and I can't remember. I don't know if he was being sarcastic or serious because you couldn't take much of what he said in the pod <laughs> seriously. <laughs> somebody, somebody said that he said he looked like Liam Hemsworth, and I'm like, mm, okay, that's <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah. And I know if somebody asked me that, like, I've always gotten Sandra Bullock. So I was like, I guess I kind of look like Sandra. Okay. Like, that's my personality, too. Like, think Miss Congeniality. That's yeah. pretty nail on the head. Yeah. So when you all saw yourselves for the first time, were you trying to read what the other person was thinking? Or were you in the moment saying, oh, my God, this person? Or, you know, what was, what was that like? You look. <laughs> she forgot how to speak. I, <laughs> I was still nervous. But, I, like, Aww. I mean, I don't know. It was, it was so like we were we had such like emotional like i don't know gone through so much stuff together and it's like we just find we've just been waiting for this moment this whole time and then like it had it's here it's happening and it's like i kind of forgot about everything around me yeah and I, yeah it was very in the moment and i i just I couldn't like stop rubbing my hands over his back and like holding him because first of all i didn't know he was as big as he was he's a lot bigger than me like he's huge Jeez. compared to me i'm tiny and I was like, God, like you're real. Like I finally, get to and I just kept like holding him and I didn't know what to say. 
but it was so crazy to be actually like meeting him for the first time. So I just kept saying, hi. You're right. I really hope uh, in future seasons, there's genuine people because I think that's what made this show. Like when you, when you just said that, it really clicked on the other reality shows on why this felt so different. You know, it, it is so genuine. Yeah, I, I think whoever did the casting, like, did a pretty darn good job. Like, I mean, I'm not going to say there weren't people there for that reason, but, like, there were definitely – everyone everyone was pretty much genu 100% genuine the whole time. So. Well, I think what's really great about the way it worked the first time, though, because it wasn't um, – you know, it's, it's never been done before, so people weren't applying to be on it. Yeah. yeah. Like, they were reaching out to us and asking if we were interested in maybe finding love and blah, 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 and I'm like – I think that was one thing that really added to it because there were people that probably turned down like, nah, not really. Like, I don't know what this show is. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, nobody knew it was going to blow up. So I think, I mean, going into a new season, I think that's going to be a lot harder. Um, obviously, they're going to have more options with people applying. But right. then also you run into the chance of people, you know, wanting it to work so much that they're not being honest with themselves. Right. Or vice versa the fame thing so it's it's gonna get complicated i i just hope it doesn't turn in there for sure i just hope it doesn't turn into what a lot of other dating yeah, yeah. exactly when you guys were in the pods did you were you able to leave it all or were you like stuck in there for that entire week or what was that like <laughs> uh so the pods was like a separate area from where we were staying like we all had our own the guys and yeah. girls stayed in separate areas so we had our living space that we hung out in during the day but we slept at a, a separate place at night okay and when's the wedding date? Like, when do you guys celebrate? Our anniversary My is... My grandmother's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like keeping that a secret between yeah. us because I don't want everybody to start getting married on our wedding date or something weird like that. Yeah, that's your special day. Okay. So the restaurants are all booked up on our anniversary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's secret. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. That's, that's really, really cool. cool. Yeah. Well, you guys are down to earth and... Uh, so fun. Yeah, I know. Yes. It's, you know... <laughs> What it, <laughs> once this is all over and y'all are like chilling at like you know one of these festivals we'll come yeah come oh yeah Dude, hit us up anytime we're man. at Bump everything we're like, at everything i had tickets for the braves on the 24th and you know so whenever that picks back up we'll be there too i got <laughs> matt a valentine's present this year and it was the best present i've ever gotten for anybody ever i got him tickets to this festival in uh florida in may that was no it was in april the, was it the San Jan was, something? Yeah, Weezer. San Jan. Oh, yeah, Weezer. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we were so getting excited. backstage passes and, <gasps> that, and that got canceled. Like, I am so upset. <laughs> Weezer is one of my favorite bands. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's obsessed yeah. with Weezer. Like, he was literally just singing it in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only good thing about, uh, you know, after all this, I have to feel there's so many people that are going to be making up for all these lost shows that mm -hmm. there's going to be. Uh, thousands of things to do. Oh, you know? gosh. I really hope so. Yeah. yeah. Really I'm surprised. So. Like, we're giving away Bonnaroo, and I'm surprised Bonnaroo hasn't got canceled yet. Yeah. So. When, is, when, is when is that? Well, now it's in September. They postponed it from June to September. Yeah. I know. That's in Palm Springs? Uh, uh, Bonnaroo is in Manchester, Tennessee. Oh, so. oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I was thinking Coachella. My bad. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be great, too. Yeah. <laughs> Put our fingers crossed that Dragon Con doesn't get canceled because oh. I've, I've started putting together my costume. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have to work out a lot harder for mine. So, <laughs> wait, now who's are you? Have you both been in the past, or is one trying to get the other person to dress up and let's go? I used to go all the time. Yeah, oh, okay. Before me, and I had friends that went, but I, I never really had the opportunity to go, and I didn't get to go with my friends because I didn't take that seriously. And then Matt took me for the first time, and I'm like, oh, now I get it. I love this. This is, this is my jam. Did you have any other questions? I know you had it on. No, right? no. Cover everything? Yeah. All right, nice. Everything. And, yeah, more. You guys are so fun and wonderful. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Y'all got to turn it off, though, because I, I don't even I don't know. know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> We're so good at this. <laughs> Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, got it. Bye. See y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>